All right, everyone ready for rally number three? Yes! Yes! yes. 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 Which one? Oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Hi man, stay out of the garden. And that's what I thought the government was elected to do. To build roads. To deliver good schools. Good hospitals. To support the police. Sound administration. Yes. And what did I find? Yes. The first serious bit of legislation that the new government puts into this parliament is for the most radical abortion laws in this country. That's right. You don't have to believe in anything other than the basic decency of every human being to think that we should never have infanticide on the mark. In just one week, this upper house inquiry had 14,000 submissions. Now I know members of the upper house of New South Wales are geniuses, they're probably the greatest speed readers the world has ever known. But does anyone think that those 14,000 submissions have had justice done to them in just one week? No! By contrast, a bill to end cruelty towards battery hens, would you believe? That had a seven week inquiry and they got just 500 submissions. Well. I don't want to see cruelty to anything. I'm all in favour of a good deal for battery hens, but I think the babies of this country deserve better than that. Yeah. Support the people who are fighting for us, fighting for a better future for our children, a better future for our country, and a more decent life for everyone. God bless them. God bless Australia. Thank you for coming. I thank my parents 85 years ago today, keeping me, not aborting me, but letting me live. We need more members of parliament with spiritual guts to stand for the truth and not be blackmailed. What did they chant? We will fight, we will win, throw the fetus in the bin. <laughs> so what I say today is, doctors deserve better, women deserve better, and most certainly unborn children deserve better. <laughs> I think that it's, it is so obnoxious that an amendment to look after a child born alive in the corner of the room was voted down. An amendment to stop someone aborting a child because of all the more terrible things, they're a girl, was voted down. If you can vote down an amendment because they're a boy or a girl, then why stop then? Why not vote them down because they're too dark, or they're too fair, or they're wrong complexion? Where does this animalistic process stop? Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the slavery debate of our time. They had a longer inquiry into koalas. I love koalas, but I think a person is more important than a koala. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name so that in the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Our politicians are
making appeals to choice, to autonomy, and the complexity of the issue. And they're doing that because it's all they have. Science is not on their side. The heart beats, the pain is felt, the baby is viable. They do that because medicine is no longer on their side. Compassion is not on their side. Humanity is not on their side. Conscience is not on their side. I'm here to say, with such mounting evidence, how can any say that God would be on their side? Because Christ's love, as we have just heard, said, I will die for you. And abortion is the evil reverse image of that which says, you will die for me.